Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about batting. There are a lot of different battings out there. There is 100% cotton, there's 80-20, 80% cotton, 20% polyester, there is silk, bamboo, wool, lots of different battings. The top two choices usually are the 80-20 and the 100% cotton, but I want to talk to you a little bit about all the differences. I cut some samples of some battings. There are a lot and lot of different battings. So there's the thin, thin batting. There's a little bit thicker. There's a thin bleached and a little bit thicker. And then there's like the polyfill kind of batting. So there's lots of different battings to choose from when you are making your quilt. And if you've taken that much time to make a quilt, you want it to be the way you want it to be. So you don't want to pick a batting that is not right for your project. Most all quilts, I say this, there's always exceptions, so don't shout at me, but most of them are 80-20 or 100% cotton. And let's discuss a little bit the differences. You've got a lot of different brands. You've got Warm and Natural. You've got Hobbs. There are numerous different brands out there. And there's my favorite, which is Quilter's Dream Batting, which comes in a lot of different types too. The cotton, the uh, polyester mix, that kind of thing. But that particular one is my all-time favorite. It just, I just like the way it quilts. I like the way it looks. So there's a lot of decisions going into batting. You don't really think there are, but there are. And you can get different ones. Like this one, for example, is a bleached. So it's going to be white. If you're doing a white quilt and it's primarily white, you don't want like this, this color here to show through. Most of the time, I say that most of the time, some of the time it doesn't, but there are times where you really want a true stark white batting because you're using a lot of light colors. So color has a say-so in it. There's different types of battings besides bleach. There's fusible that has like a glue dot kind of thing on the back so that when you start using it, the, the it's got that adhesive on it, kind of sticks together. Um, there's differences in loft, in thickness and thin they are, like we've kind of discussed here. And that makes an uh, important decision factor in your quilt. There's low, mid loft, and high loft. Low loft would be for like placemats, table runners, that kind of thing. Even baby quilts, um, wall hangings. High loft is thick. So what you would want high loft for would be maybe, well, for warmth and comfort, um, stitching definition. If you want your stitching to stand out, high loft is a good one. There's lots of different um, types. There's needle punched batting. That is where you've got batting fibers that are layered up and thousands of needles have gone through that batting to fuse those layers together. You've probably heard of scrim when you're looking at different batting, some with scrim, some without scrim. That is when there's thin layers of woven fibers that are um, applied to it. Sometimes it's a mesh, but it's applied to the batting to keep it from moving, bunching, separating. And what I have found is with scrim, if you want it to drape well, like over the side of a bed, I prefer the not scrim because scrim doesn't, it just, it's a little bit heavier, I guess you say. I'm not finding the right word here, but it just doesn't fall over the side like it does without scrim. The no scrim is more stretchable when you're handling it roughly. So this right here, you see how it's not really, it's not really stretching. See that? That means there's scrim. This one, see how when I stretch it, it kind of loses its shape? See what I mean? It's not the same as it was. 
it's pulling and you're, you're stretching it. So that is no scrim. It's more stretchable. When you start moving with it, it's going to move around. Still, you're, you're fine either way. It's just this one is easier to stretch. They're both good. It's just they're a little different. They both work. They are both great battings with or without scrim. It's just a personal preference. As far as 100% cotton batting or 80-20, 100% cotton is more dense and flat, whereas the 80-20 is more fluffier. So another thing to take into account when, when picking batting, if you're taking your quilt to a long armor, they're gonna know most all of this. So you don't always have to decide this kind of thing, but if you have a certain project in mind for your quilt, and you know you want it a certain way, then talk to them about that and they'll pick the right batting for you. Or do your research, look into it, and pick the one that is best for you. If you're making a normal quilt for a bed, um, whatever the size may be, the, the top two choices tend to be the 80-20 or the 100% cotton. Whether you want it fluffy, whether you want it more drapeable over a bed, those kind of things are what you take, take into account. So I hope I haven't confused you today in this difference in battings, but there are a lot of battings out there. If you go into a quilt store and you see batting in there, you're 99% of the time going to find the 80-20 and the 100% cotton. You can't go wrong with either one of those. So that's basically my take on the batting. If you have any questions or if you don't understand anything, let me know. I hope I didn't confuse anybody with all this because there are a lot of different choices. These aren't even it. There's a lot, lot, lot of different batting choices. But again, if you're new at this, stick with the 80-20 or the 100% cotton. You can't go wrong. So until next time, happy quilting.